So 343 just released a video showcasing the scripting that you can do with Halo Infinite's Forge, as well as what you can do with the bots within the same mode. Now, a lot of what they showcased within this video is stuff that we already know from most of the leaks that we've been seeing for the last few months now when it comes to Halo Infinite. So if you've been paying attention to the channel here, you pretty much know exactly what's going on here, but they actually really did a great job of explaining about how these different traits and how the scripting works within Halo Infinite's Forge. So then you have a better idea of what to expect when you actually finally get a chance to jump in and play with Forge on November 8th. If you guys remember seeing this leaked out video, basically showcasing how you can do a vehicle selection within Forge. I covered this previously on the channel. How they made this work was through scripting, where basically if you crouch in front of this terminal, it will toggle through different vehicles that you can utilize. So again, this is all just from leaked builds that we've been seeing about Halo Infinite. Now the crazy thing about the scripting is that you can actually change weapon behaviors in the game. For example, here on this version that they were doing within the stream, but on tossing a grenade, you actually will switch out the variant of your assault rifle to have it shoot out rockets which is just crazy fun stuff by just doing a simple action of like just throwing a grenade to trigger that to happen within that logic so this is why something like this is gonna be super important when it comes to halo infinite's forge an amazing thing that's coming with forge as well or bots you can play test your maps utilizing bots and that's gonna be a huge thing because previously you had to actually get people together in your match to test out things to see if how it was working if anything was overpowered or broken and things like that well, now you can test that all with the bots. Now, with each map being its own unique thing, you need to have AI to tell what the bots how to move throughout the map. And this right here is a navigation mesh that you can put on with the bots. Now, Halo Fitness Forge will automatically create this AI mesh so then that once you put the bots into the game, they go, okay, I can climb that ledge. I can jump down from here down to there or can tell them to not go places like jump down the infinite pit of death or something like that. And we covered this previously on the channel, but if you guys want to know, like say we're here, for example, this person recreated the original zombies mechanic we're here of zombies coming towards this area but if, as long as that bot stands near that area there's a timer that starts down to remove the barrier so they can jump through and attack you and of course you can also change the bot behavior you can change the difficulty in them and things like that you can change the weapon types and all that kind of great stuff in between so this is going to be massive when it comes to Forgers be able to create something really great in a lot faster and more efficient fashion. For example, as we do know, Juggernaut is not a current game mode within Halo Infinite, but within this stream, they showcase within the Forge mode of developing the player types and stuff like that. You can actually create Juggernaut on your own right here against the bots as well, which is kind of cool. And basically, you can also give them the Eshram's Hammer, which is a unique weapon that's not within the sandbox right now of Halo Infinite. So there's a lot of things you can do within this. It's more about what the community can create with all these different little bits of items within this world of forge now we do know that the forge council is currently you know creating things for halo infinite uh this mapper here was actually created by one of the community members as well and i'm definitely looking forward to seeing if there's gonna be like any day one creations that we can have with forge at the launch of it on november 8th I hope so. We do have those two Forge maps coming into the playlist rotations, but I think a lot of people are going to be looking forward to what, what the Forge is going to be creating for us to play around with. So a quick news update for you guys. If you guys want to check out the rest of the news that's coming out for the rest of the week for Halo Infinite, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.